Good evening, President Mahama. Good evening to Togbe Afede Um So we are talking S. Gracia, so you can understand that these two men are very important. All right. So let's go to our first video. And uh, what we're going to do tonight, what I'm going to do here over the next half an hour or so, uh, with your permission and with your help, is to show you the concerns that President John Dramani Mahama has about S. Gracia, and also to show you the criticism that Mahama opponents are leveling against him uh, since last Thursday about S. Gracia, and then to go to the actual text, the Constitution, what it says, and what an amendment or a repeal of Article 71 would entail. And we will conclude whether President Mahama has been completely gracious to the people of Ghana in promising to remove S. Gracia upon his second coming as president, or whether uh, what he said could have been said better. At the end of the day, we will conclude that President Mahama's handlers must improve on the context of his speech and must also improve on his public expressions. We will, we will see that for ourselves. We don't even need to tell them that. All right, 29 minutes past the top of the hour. Let's go to the first video. Um, we have a couple of videos about quadruple, four videos to show you tonight. The first one is about Martin Pebu alleging that President Mahama, if he's serious about the escrasher, he must return the money. This is Martin Pebu speaking on tv 3 show. Here he is. So he should look within himself and say, look, you know what? I will return this. Return it. Because it is the <laughs> national elections, they are going to do it. There are hundreds of millions of dollars. Where does it come from? They made money. So the S. Gracia is small. So just say, you know what, people? I've grown older. I think I've become wiser. Here, I'm returning the money. That S. Gracia. You should return it. It's a good All right. So that was Martin Pebble speaking about a constitutional amendment that he believes that President Mahama should return the money. And, and this conversation is about the commitment of President Mahama to the promise that he's making. And so when politicians make promises, sometimes these days we tell them that they must show the, what they will do. It's very difficult to tell one who is running for presidency the first time. But if one is running for presidency the second time, say Akufado was looking for a second time in 2020, it's easy for you to evaluate what he's saying. You just check whether he had opportunity to do it, whether he started it, whether he laid the foundation for it. And then you can then believe, you can then award him with a high believability quotient about what he's saying that he will be able to do it. Okay, let's go to President Mahama and see whether he was trying to respond to Martin Pebu when he spoke in Ho at the launch of his campaign. This is what he said. The economy is in crisis. Why should we continue to take ex gratia when the rest of the public and civil service don't take it? And so I said categorically that we will cancel ex gratia. And then somebody who should know better, a lawyer, he said, oh, then I should refund all the ex gratia we took before to show Ghanaians that, yes, we are serious about canceling it. He does not even know the principle in our constitution that says that you cannot pass retroactive legislation. If you pass legislation today, it does not affect what happened in the past. And what he says is a bit silly because it's like saying that because we've introduced free SHS, all of us should go and get a refund of our school fees that we paid in the past. That is how silly <laughs> what he's saying is. <laughs> and so they should, they should state what their position is. Are they in favor of S. Gracia or they agree with us that we'll cancel it? We are saying 2025, when we come, we will cancel X Gracia. Okay, for those of us who have been saying that uh, President Mahama uh, should have done it in his time, I think he's given us an answer, hasn't he? He says that because the economic situation is bad, he thinks we should take S. Gracia out. Does it mean that we take it out temporarily and when the economy is good, we will restore it. So you have to give President Mahama that because that's what he said. I have been saying that if he wanted his grass out, he should have taken it out in his time. He said in 2015 he was going to do it. I don't, I'm not so sure whether in 2015 he referred to the economic situation, but he's given us something. He says that the economic situation, that really is the, is the denominator. So the other question for him tonight is if the economic situation gets better, is he happy to have it restored or we should cancel it completely because it looks like it is a conditional cancellation. It's a conditional promise that the economic situation seems to be the denominator for that. But anyway, we'll go on with the process and then you decide, viewers, you decide what you think. So that was President Mahama saying that the, uh, the suggestion by the lawyer that uh, he should return the money is silly. And the lawyer is indicating that he doesn't understand retroactive legislation. 
that is a complete shocker because what is retroactive legislation in this conversation? There's no point about retroactive legislation. Nobody is asking any legislation to be retroactivated. No. They are saying that you are promising something in the future, a repeal of a law, a removal of something. You have benefited from that something. So show good faith by returning what you, you've benefited from. Do we not have examples of people who have returned as gratia? We have many. First lady and second lady had done it. Last year, there was Gula Belu about something they had received. They returned the money. Togbe Afede, here. Uh, where is he? Oh, this is Martin Pebu now. Uh, yeah, this is Togbe Afede. Togbe Afede here had also returned the money. People had said that that was dishonest, but he returned the money. So that ex Russia can be returned. We have seen it happen. So if Martin Pebu, uh, who is an NDC person, he's talking a lot for NDC, he'd run a demonstration against Akufado and all of that. At least he's an anti Akufado person. If Martin Pebu, who is, show, who is on the same side with President Mahama anyway, so I'm not so sure what the fight is about because they are really on the same side. Martin Pebu is here, President Mahama is here, they're on the same side. They, 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 are, they are really on the same side. Remove the Akufado government as quickly as possible. That's the side that they are on. Get Akufado to resign as quickly as possible. That's the side that they are on. So if Martin says return the money, Martin is trying to raise the credibility of the anti-Akufuado lobby. That's what he's doing. He's trying to raise the credibility of the anti-Akufuado lobby. And President Mahama says that he's silly to even ask for that. It means that Martin Bebu does not understand retroactive legislation. What is retroactive legislation about this? Tonight, we will take Article 71, we'll go through it in detail, and then we will show you the amendment processes that must occur for Article 71 to be amended. And then you understand that there's nothing about legislation. There's nothing about that. No, absolutely nothing. Because the Constitution provides basis on which a law can be amended. So when President Akufado says, I want to amend the law to, for us to elect district assembly chief executives, he began the process in Parliament because the Constitution shows you how you will do it. And the first move to amend some of those major articles is the President's pen. That's the first step. The first step is the president Penn to craft a bill through cabinet, through the attorney general, that goes to the speaker. The speaker accepts the bill, blah, blah. We'll, we'll tell you about that a bit later. So the last video was President Mahama saying that Mr. Pebu's suggestion that return the money is actually very silly. All right. Whether President Mahama has received money for S. Gratia or not became another conversation. We have found the answers to that. So let's watch a video uh, where President Mahama says that he did not actually receive as Gracia, something like that. Have a look and then determine what he said. The likes of Abronia DC quote some 15 million as Gracia that you were paid. <laughs> that's, as, as, as that's, that's, president. that's an absolute lie. In t he says in 2013, 14 yes. million was paid into my ADB account. I wish my bank statement was here, I'll, I'll show it to you and then you look. After this um, interview, I have my 2013 bank statement. I'll let you look through and see if there's any 14 million payment. The only payment that was made to me by government, accountant general, was my salary arrears of 230,000 CDs. That's all. In 2013? In 2013. I'll show you that bank no, statement. No ex gratia or... No ex gratia. I was paid 230,000 as salary arrears in 2013. And I can call a group of you journalists. I'll show it to you first. And later, if you want, we can call a group of you journalists. Of course, I don't want to publish my bank statement, but I can put it before you and you look through all the payments and see if there's a 14 million CD payment. I didn't receive any such payment. Now, this is getting very interesting, isn't it? Very, very interesting. The story that you saw is here. I've not received any S. Gratia. I pay for everything myself. President Mahama said that. Um, um, that's, that's in the interview. and That's what he said. This is very interesting, isn't it? Viewers, it's getting very interesting at 20 minutes to the hour of 10 o'clock. Because what President Mahama has described, the salary arrears, is under the Constitution what is ex gratia. That is what it is. Now, here is a former president who says, I didn't receive ex gratia, but I received salary arrears. But that's what it is. That's what the ex gratia is about. I will show it to you in Article 71 that the description of salary in Article 71, includes emoluments, salaries, extra payments, da 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 da. And I'll show you what the, you see, they will have to arrive at a certain point where they have to determine that you have salary arrears. That's the S. Gratia. That is the S. Gratia. Okay, if you don't believe me, here's Joyce Bauer Mukhtari speaking on GH1 after President Mohammed's interview, clarifying that the same said 200,000 and extra that President Mohammed referred to. A salary arrears, Joyce Bauer refers to the same thing as a gracia. Yes, she. 
Okay. How much does former President Mahama receive every month? It's 22,000 and a little above that, okay. which is his pension. Right. That's one. Mm -hmm. Then as a lump sum, as a ex gratia he received a one-off payment of about 250,000 and a little. And that was about it. As a, you, you heard Joyce Bauer Mokhtar. This is getting very interesting and that's how this election is going to be run. It's going to be run on verifiable facts, okay? Joyce Bauer Mokhtari says President Mahama, and that's her word, received ex gratia of 250,000. I should have got them to edit the video a little bit in smaller portions so you can understand it. President Mahama said he had received salary arrears of 200,000, but that's not ex gratia. Joyce Bauer says that is ex gratia. Who is telling us what? We are building the story up to whether what the whole concept about whether S. Gracia is understandable or... Joyce Bauer says, Mr. President received S. Gracia. Mr. President says, I didn't receive S. Gracia. There's some disconnect somewhere. We side with Joyce Bauer. She's right. That's the constitutional description of what S. Gracia is. That's salary arrears. Now, I'll show you how we come to the point to determine that there are arrears. That's the process of S. Gracia. That's it. So, President Mahama received S. Gracia 220,000. That's what Martin Pebu says. He should return. To show good faith. After all, give me Togbe Afede's photograph again. After all, Togbe Afede returned it to show good faith. So we have had Joyce Bauer Mokhtari talking. All right. Now, after Joyce Bauer Mokhtari spoke about President Mahama receiving it, we have President Mahama again talking about the most ridiculous thing of people asking him to return it. He says he has spent the money. He cannot return it. He has spent it. This is President Mahama. But the point is, I say we'll cancel it, Gracia. If you cancel it, you two say, when we come, we'll cancel it. But why are you insulting me and saying I should refund mine? Would you cancel it or you won't cancel it? Tell the people of Ghana. But oh, bring your, yours first. Why? I've spent the money already. <laughs> and now I'm a pensioner. Where am I going to get that money to come and pay back? I'm totally confused, viewers. I'm totally confused. I don't know how you see it. So President Mahama says he didn't receive S. Gracia. Joyce Bauer says he received S. Gracia. President Mahama says, well, he received it. But asking him to return it is, is he doesn't understand why asking him to return it. Because he says he has spent it. But he believes in a new government policy that says you don't have to do S. Gracia anymore. He says that, shall we say that those who paid free SHS should go and refund their money? I don't get the relationship, the connection. That will be retroactive, what he's talking about. I think there's something missing. And I, I'm not blaming President. President Mahama is my man, and you know that he's my man. I'm not blaming him. I'm blaming his handlers. And I think that all leading political figures must have a certain standardized quality of people who handle him. His speeches, his expressions, his outdoor. They should have that. This, is a, 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 this has been botched. It's a total botched work of President Mohammed's handlers about the whole conversation of S. Gracia. If somebody were to ask, where does President Mohammed stand on S. Gracia? They will be, they will be half puffing. They will be half puffing on what to say because you can't tell what he's saying. And that's not his problem. That's the problem of the handlers. The, the, the PR people, the lawyers around, what is this? Why are you allowing the president to talk about retroactive legislation when it doesn't fit the context in any way? There's nothing about retroactive legislation in a repeal of Article 71. There's nothing about retroactive legislation about it. You let the president to say that. You let the president to say that he didn't take S. Gracia. And then you come out and say, as one of his handlers, Joyce Bauer, that he took S. Gracia of 250,000. He says, that when you were telling GH1 that he didn't, didn't you know that he has said that he didn't take S. Gracia? So that you can reconcile the story? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what is happening. But I wish, I wish... I could do better for someone to be able to help President Mahama to get the thing right. I mean, tomorrow, President Akufado is going to do a sessional address. When President Akufado speaks, he's been speaking since 2017. We are not able to come and stand here and digest the speech and say he, he, he indicated a misapprehension of the context of a national law. No! A president shouldn't speak and then small boys like me are analyzing and say, it looks like the president has a misapprehension of the national law of Article 71. He has lawyers with him. He has PR people with him. He has political actors with him. They should know that you can't let presidents talk like that. I mean, what is going on? Is that how we're going to run the 2024 campaign? I mean, I don't know, but, but let's hope for the best, you know. So the last video. President Mahama then finds occasion to congratulate Togbi Afede for returning his S. Gracia. Now we can understand why he's congratulating because President Mahama says he cannot return his S. Gracia. Now there's a good reason for that. 
There's a good reason why we need not amend Article 71. President Mahama made the point. He said, he is former president. The constitution does not allow him to hold office of profit. He doesn't. You can't work. And that is why Article 71 allows the president to set up a committee for the committee to determine how he should be looked after as former president. And we say we should cancel this because we want to be populist. We want to look like we are running a, a, an economy. We love poor people and we don't want to spend the country's money. Is that where they spend? Martin People said something about President Mahama already has millions. So where did he get the millions from? I mean, I, I, he, he said it. I didn't say it. He said it's in that video. He said they already have millions. Otherwise, how are they going to run the campaign? So this small money they should... I do, how did he know President Mahama has millions? I don't know. Yeah, how did he know? But the reason why we have to give former presidents money is because we tell them that they cannot work anymore. They are properties of the state. The state uses them. So today, there's a problem in Ashaman. The National Security Coordinator can pay a courtesy call on President Mahama and say, Mr. President, please, can you go and talk to the Ashaman chiefs for us? That is his work. That's his role. He is a tool and a property of the state. That's what he is. So the state sends him, go to Asham and do this. We hear there's crisis in Boku. We go to President Kofo and say, Mr. Kofo, I mean, when you were president, you had a lot to do with the Boku crisis. Please, there's another one. Can you please talk to the chiefs? That's the reason why every month we send them money. That's why we're giving them an office. That's why we pay for the office staff. President Mahama says office staff is not being paid. That's the reason for the S. Gracia. What is evil about S. Gracia? If some people want to create populism and they say they return some money, is that, is that the... But tonight, we'll go into the S. Gracia and you see it again in some detail. Okay, so we know that President Mahama appreciates those who return the money, but he's saying that he cannot return the money because he has spent it. Yes, President Mahama. When a traditional ruler and a former member of the Council of State returns a gratuity that was paid to him because he thinks it was not necessary and he didn't deserve to have that money paid to him, he should receive acknowledgments and gratitude and not insults. Togbi, you're a man of principle, you're a man of conviction. And we all admire you for that. And so don't change. Just continue being yourself. All right. So that's, that's President Mahama congratulating Togbe Afede for uh, taking half of his salary as Council of State. They did not want to take the rest uh, that was paid to